welcome to another video! Today I will be reviewing Nendoroid Musashi from Contact Collection. She's a good small company exclusive who was only available at certain events in Taiwan and Japan and in the good small company online shop. Let's take a look at her box. All Contact Collection Nendoroids ordered from the good small company shop received an art sleeve that's wrapped around the box. This one has Musashi, Yamato, Nagato, and Mutsu on it. Nendoroid Yamato is already released. Nagato has been announced. Nendoroid Mutsu hasn't been announced yet. So this might be a hint that this Nendoroid will be coming as well. Once you take off the sleeve, you have Nendoroid Musashi in full glory. The box has a red and black theme on the sides and the back. On the black side, we have Nendoroid Musashi shown in her Kai form. Let's have a quick look at Musashi. Here we have Musashi fresh out of the box. I gave her a little basic pose so we can have a better look at her. Musashi on her own already has a lot of interesting features. First of all, her hair. Her pigtails can be taken off and be moved around and turned around 360. Her glasses can be taken off and are attached to the front piece of her hair. Her jacket is attached to her body and can move around and can be taken off as well. Now it's time for her accessories and I have to warn you, Musashi has a lot of accessories. She comes with three filled blisters and that's a lot. <laughs> Let's start with the smallest blister. She comes with a big blue base, clear disc holders, thin stands, a thick stand and a plug and an extra neck bag. Moving on to her faceplates. Her default faceplate makes her look so cool, the badass Musashi. But this faceplate gives her blushing cheeks and an embarrassed expression. And then we have the half damaged expression and poor Musashi looks like she's in pain. Now let's gear Musashi up. Do you see these two holes? It's either for this big turret or this small turret. The big one only can be posed like this, while the small one can be posed like the other, but can also be used like this. The golden part is for her Kai form. To pose her with the heavy armament, take out the plug, position the stand like this, and pop on the back piece and add Musashi herself. Assemble the left and right side of her armament like this, and we are ready for some action. All these fire effects can be attached to her turrets and like this we have her in a full attack mode and she looks really cool. To make it extra realistic we add flying bullets. Full firepower Musashi is ready to fight on the sea. But we're not done yet, let's upgrade Musashi to her Kai form. She comes with a whole different outfit. To change the armament we change the back like this. The back piece is super detailed, which is so nice. And we can also upgrade the turrets. Now let's have a little turret talk before we move on. All the turrets can move. The turrets can move up and down and you can turn them. And the big ones even have extra movement. These mini ones can only be turned around. And of course the big part can move too. Here she is in her full Kai form. Even her small turret has firing effects. Now let's head down to the food department. Castella cake, Sara udon and a hand with a piece of cake. The udon looks delicious. Her castella cake looks great too. And the last accessory I want to show are these hands. Musashi and Yamato can hold hands and that's really cute. My overall opinion of this figure is I love it. I love how Musashi's Nendoroid turned out. It's so amazing. She has great features herself, the accessories are on point, and there aren't many flaws. The only downside is that her jacket easily falls off her back and it's kind of annoying and that's it.
thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it please subscribe if you haven't yet and leave a like and a comment i love to read what you have to say and i will see you in the next video bye